Hello everybody. These days, every enterprise is trying their level best to choose a MDM platform or a master data governance platform or master data quality platform for their enterprise. And what are those things that anybody must look at before they choose a right MDM platform? And MDM platform, there are several options. And these several MDM platforms provide various capabilities, various features, various functions. Some of them you might not need. Some of them you might need, you know, uh, heavily. Some of them you might not use them, you know, all the time. But what are those uh, critical features or critical functionalities or critical capabilities that one must look at before uh, investing into an MDM journey? There are various of them. You know, this video describes about various capabilities, features, a MDM or especially a multi-domain MDM product should have. It could be from the workflows, business process management, or data stewardship, or information quality, or it could be on the, you know, performance, scalability, uh, deployment model, you know, whether it is cloud or on-prem or whether it is being embedded with a lot of machine learning or artificial intelligence uh, capabilities, or is it being augmented with, uh, with those capabilities, and also multi-domain features and multilingual, and uh, also you know the user interfaces, the user experience. There are a lot of different capabilities. So this video talks about those, and also it tells you, you know, how you must evaluate based upon those capabilities. So go through this particular you know, video and all the capabilities of it and make the right decision in terms of choosing your MDM product. Couple of factors to consider. One thing is that think about a journey of MDM for the next few years because consolidating all the different sources into one MDM platform might take few years because of the variety of the enterprise, variety of the business applications that somebody has, and variety of the data sources that you have. So you need to think about future and look at those products that are cloud enabled. Look at those products that are augmented with the machine learning or artificial intelligence capabilities, and also some of the RPA, robotic process automation. So that's one of the key factors. The second thing is that consider investing into a product or a technology that supports multiple domains or multi-domain and it is a single instance it's not spread across different instances so that's also a core factor the third thing is that look at the capabilities of synchronization with other systems so you know these are some of the capabilities and also powered by or you know uh, formulated by some of the ISO principles. ISO 8000 is the data quality standard and consider an MDM that is enabled by or empowered by or designed from the perspective of ISO 8000 or 29002 or 22745. These are some of the standards that you can consider because the moment you adapt these standards it easily it easily allows you to have the interoperability across different things so these are some of the factors however go through the complete video to learn more about the capabilities or the features of any mdm product thank you